In this demo, I'm going to show you some of the new features we added for RQM 406 as well as uh, integra integrating with RQM Doors uh, Web Access 9.5.2.1. Um, we added some enhancement to the traceability to test the script steps. So that means uh, uh, from Doors Web Access, you can actually select a particular test script step um, from RQM um, to use with DOORS uh, to validate the DOORS requirements. So let me show you. Uh, I have already configured my RQM server and DOORS to integrate with each other. So in RQM, I'm using a project area called the JKE Banking Quality Management. And this uh, um, project area is going to use uh, um, DOORS as one of the requirement provider and vice versa in this uh, DOORS repository, I am also going to integrate with uh, the JKE banking quality management project area uh, for testing pur uh, purpose to validate my requirements. So if you go to DOORS, um, select one of the requirements. So I'm going to change this to be uh, editing mode. And now I can link, uh, I can create a link that's validated by a particular test script steps. So if I choose that, this is new in RQM uh, 406 that you can actually um, search a particular test scripts. And then from the test scripts, you can actually uh, pick a specific step to link with the, uh, your requirement. So in this picker, you can also filter by typing the name of the test scripts. So I'm going to choose pay bills online test. That's the name of the test scripts. And then next, uh, um, as you can see in the scripts, uh, in the scripts, there are five steps for this particular um, requirement, I'm going to link with test script 4. And if I um, put my mouse over it, you can see the rich hover shows me the detailed information about this step. So the step says press the confirm button. So I'm going to pick this step and then say finish. So you can go to the links section of the requirement and then you will show validated by link. And this is uh, a actual uh, test script step. 7148, that's the um, ID of the test scripts. And then at the end, there's uh, a square bracket four. That means it's a step number four. And then if you reach hover this link, it shows you the detailed information about uh, um, the test script step. Then if you click on this link, it will bring you to, it may ask you for login, but it, will, it should bring you back to the script editor for this particular step. So the cursor is, uh, um, is right here. This is step number four. And also in the step number four, you can see um, this uh, script step has a requirement link, which was the requirement link uh, that we were working with. Um, so this uh, bidirectional, bidirectional link has already been created. And if you uh, put your mouse over it, you can see the rich hover uh, content of this particular uh, requirements from doors. Another feature I would like to show is the synchronization of script step requirement to its containing parent test case. What that means is uh, every time you add a requirement to a uh, to any of the script steps, when you save the scripts, its parent test case will also be linked to these uh, requirements. So, uh, but this is a feature you do need to turn on. In order to do that, you would go to Manage Project Properties from RQM, and then go to um, Test Script Preferences. Uh, make sure you select Sync Requirement Links to Test Case one test script is saved every time. So once you have this option selected, 
you can go to a test script. You can go to a test script, add requirements to its uh, steps. So um, you can see here, this particular test script has a parent test case called account transfer. You go click on the account transfer, you go to the requirement links section, you see there's no requirements over there. And then you go back to the uh, test scripts, choose one of the steps, click link to any requirements. So in this case, I will again choose the doors uh, requirements. I will choose, this is another requirement for account transfer, and then say finish. Um, once I click save here, you will update the necessary uh, links. Then you go back to the parent test case, and then do a refresh. So you can see in the requirement links section, now the parent test case is also linked to this requirements. So um, this concludes the end of the demo. For RQM 406, thanks for watching. Please uh, uh, make sure you stay on top by visiting jazz.net to see what's new is coming. Thank you.